Hey guys, what's up? My name is Emily Hood and welcome back to this week's episode of The Hood Report. On this week's episode, we will be discussing the aftermath of Hurricane Florence in the Carolinas, the road bump in Brett Kavanaugh's Supreme Court nomination, and the mid-game resignation from an NFL cornerback. Hurricane Florence pounded the Carolinas last weekend when it made landfall as a Category 2 hurricane. As of Monday, the death toll was 22 and the storm destroyed thousands of homes in an area where only 10% of residents have flood insurance. Florence's highest sustained winds were 85 miles per hour off the Carolina coast and flash flooding was the biggest danger to residents who chose not to evacuate. Once it made landfall, the storm stalled above the Carolina coast, dumping 30 inches of rain. Roads around cities that were hit the hardest, such as Wilmington, in North Carolina are so flooded that there is only one road in and out of the city and officials are hustling to hurry supplies into the city because the road could become flooded again next week. The estimated cost to repair the storm could be around 22 billion as the East Coast prepares to recover. Republicans who are looking to push through Brett Kavanaugh's Supreme Court confirmation have hit a roadblock. Kavanaugh has been accused of sexual assault in the 1980s by a woman named Kristen Blasey Ford. Ford says while they were in high school, Kavanaugh and his friend forced her into a bedroom and attempted to rape her while heavily intoxicated. Kavanaugh and the White House have denied these allegations, saying that he never attended the party where the alleged incident happened. Kavanaugh is President Trump's second Supreme Court nominee, and the GOP is looking to appoint a conservative justice to help overturn cases such as Roe v. Wade on abortion rights. And a breaking news update coming at you from FHN Today TV on Tuesday night. The Senate Judiciary Committee has agreed to schedule a hearing between Brett Kavanaugh and Christine Blasey Ford to address the allegations before the Senate. However, Ford says that she wants an FBI investigation to be opened before she agrees to testify before the Senate. This story is sure to develop more in the coming weeks as both parties anxiously await the results of Kavanaugh's confirmation. Football had a bit of a shakeup during the past week when NFL cornerback Vontae Davis retired his football career mid-game during halftime. 30-year-old Davis cited the physical toll that the sport took on his body in the long, grueling season as he realized that he should not be out playing any longer. Davis signed on to the Bills earlier this year and his teammates were shocked by the decision, saying that it was disrespectful to leave his team mid-season. The Bills looked to a challenging season ahead as they eventually lost to the Los Angeles Chargers 31-20. And that is all the stories that we have for you today. Thank you so much for tuning in to this week's episode of The Hood Report. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss all the awesome content and shows we have coming out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I hope you all have a great week.